Welcome to RNA Seq Data Analysis from the Scratch course. This is our third course on the Udemy, and we hope so that, like the previous two courses, you will also like our this course. As you may know it very well, that the invention of the polymerase chain reaction and the Sanger sequencing has revolutionized the molecular biology. The advancement of the sequencing techniques has led to the invention of the next generation sequencing. Currently, the next generation sequencing is used to carry out the whole genome sequencing, whole exome sequencing, and whole transcriptome sequencing. The whole transcriptome sequencing is also known as the RNA sequencing. To perform the NGS analysis, we are going to extract the DNA and then we are going to further chop it down into the small pieces using the restriction enzymes. Later on, these small pieces of the DNAs are ligated with the synthetic adopters and then they are fed to the sequencing machines. The sequencing machines are going to produce tons of the sequencing data in the form of the FASTQ files. The FASTQ files are going to have the millions and the millions of the DNA sequencing reads. Now this is quite impossible to analyze the millions of the sequencing reads manually. There is a need of some specific skill set to analyze the sequencing data that is present in the FASTQ files. In this course, we will let you know that how you can analyze the FASTQ files that are obtained as a result of the RNA-seq experimentation using the Linux and the R Studio. Furthermore, we will also let you know that how you can perform the differential gene expression analysis and how you can build the different type of visualizations. In this course, we will provide you all of the Linux necessary commands and the scripts that you may need to use to process the FASTQ files and to convert them into the feature count matrix. These commands and the scripts will be available in the resource sections along with the video. Furthermore, we will also provide you all of the R codes in the assignment sections that you may need to perform the differential expression of the gene analysis in an R studio. This course is divided into the seven modules and there are total 18 assignments along with the test data sets. In a first module, we will try to introduce you about the basic of molecular biology. If you are expert in molecular biology or if you have already taken our previous course, then you can safely skip this module. In the second modules, we will try to familiarize you about the basis of the RNA-seq experimentation. In a third module, we will practically demonstrate to you that how you can transform the FASTQ files into a feature code matrix using the Linux environment. In a fourth module, we will try to introduce you about the R and the R Studio environment. In a fifth module, we will try to perform the differential expression of the gene analysis in an R Studio using the DEC2 package. In a sixth module, we will try to familiarize you that how you can check the RNA-seq data in an R Studio. And in a seventh module, we will try to build the different type of the visualizations to present the RNA-seq data. Furthermore, we will also let you know that how you can perform the pathway analysis of your best differentially expressed genes. At the end of this course, you guys will be quite comfortable to build a different type of visualization to present the RNA-seq data. And these visualizations include the PCA plot, heat map, volcano plot, and the MA plot. Moreover, you will be also able to carry out this type of the pathway analysis of your best genes. These are going to be some of the learning outcomes of this course. At the end of this course, you will be able to understand the RNA-seq experimentation. You will be also able to analyze the FASTQ files in a Linux environment. You will be able to understand R and the R Studio. You will be also able to perform the differential expression of the gene analysis in an R Studio. You will be able to generate the different type of visualization to present your data. And you will be also able to perform the gene ontology and the pathway analysis. Finally, this is an introductory course and there is so much to cover. We will try to update this course periodically. We hope so that you will like this course and it will be a pleasure for us if you will enroll in this course. We are waiting for your presence in our course.